Hi, I'm Chef Zaki in Durham, North Carolina, and it is fall. Thank God it's fall. I'm so happy. It's my favorite time of the year. And I've created a very special drink. It is called an Almond Bliss, and it's made with Prosecco. It just happens to be that my local Kroger is also celebrating Italy, and this is an $8 Prosecco. It is called Imperativo, and it's absolutely delicious. So for our drink, because my neighbor is bartering with me and letting me have as many figs as I want for recipes, we are taking figs, we're cooking them down with a tangerine, and we're adding a little bit of bitters. And we're going to put these into the bottom of a chilled champagne flute. And my friend Mary Elizabeth Hynings makes these beautiful glasses and sells them on the internet. I bet you, some of you do not know how to properly open a bottle of champagne. Prosecco is the same. We start with, there's a little tiny bit of, kind of like a ribbon in the back here. And we peel this off and we reveal something that's known as the cage. It's called a cage because it holds down the cork. Now some people remove the cage and some people keep it on. Here we go, right here. See all these tiny little pieces here? You just twist them to open them. And I like to remove the cage, but you keep your hand or one of your fingers on to the cork in case it pulls out. Now, my Girl Scout, Hanky, I'm going to very carefully twist the bottom of There we go. A lot of people are intimidated by opening a bottle of sparkling champagne or Prosecco, but it's really very easy just to practice a little bit. So into our flute, we are pouring, whoops, one pour, let the sexy part go down, and all the way to the top. Now, I like to put a little twist of orange into my flute. Years ago, I played a very young love interest to Rock Hudson in the Devlin Connection, it's a TV show. My name is Buffy St. Clair. And after his uh, heart bypasses, I asked him, I said, what do you really miss the most? Having had these operations, he said, oh, my martini with a twist of orange. He also liked champagne. So we're going to take a twist of orange, we're going to squeeze some of the oil out and put it in right here. And a tiny bit more champagne or Prosecco. So here's to you, Rock. 